In this video, we're looking at how to control um, the items that are displayed in the model tree. So by default and out of the box, um, Creo doesn't show things like suppressed items. So if we want to make that change um, permanent then uh, or the default behavior, then we can certainly do that. Uh, the way we do that is we basically set up the tree how we want it, um, save out a tree .cfg file and then set a config.pro option to point to that file. Um, so let's have a look at that. Right, so I've started a session of Creo which is a set, effectively a out of the box session. If I just open up um, a model, um, you can see we can see that there. Uh, one thing I might want to look at in this model is um, the features within the models which I can't see now. And also, if I was to suppress this item here, um, you notice that it actually disappears. So I want to be able to see that as well. So what I can do is go to um, tree filters. We turn on the items that we want to see. So in this case, features and suppressed objects. Okay, and we go OK to that. All right, so that firstly sets it up how we want it. You can see now I'm seeing features within models and I'm also seeing that suppressed item um, in the tree. Uh, now I can go and go and do a save settings file. I just save that to my working directory. Notice it's called this. Um, then all I do is I go into my configuration editor and I add in the option model tree config file and I'm going to browse to that particular file so you notice it points it to the full path for the file we go OK um, we'll export this so that this gets saved OK you could of course edit that that config.pro outside of Creo if you wanted um, and now the beauty of that is that if I um, was to close Creo and I was to open it again. What we can see is if I open up the same model, um, we can see we get the features visible. And if I suppress this, it's still visible. That's it.